What's up, everybody, and welcome to episode three, finally, of Blood in the Water podcast. Uh, today, we got the full crew in here, and we got some new faces with us, so make sure you guys pay attention. Uh, as you know, around the screen, you got uh, Corey with the poop hat on. You got Bob, the pirated bandana. Um, the bases were a dead giveaway. Those are not cellos in the background. Uh, AC with his porn shoot background going on there. And uh, don't hate my rug, bull. I'm not hating the rug. It just looks it's like a rug. 70s porn shoot, that motherfucker. Man. I like his rug because I don't have to carry it personally. <laughs> you should close your bathroom door. It bothers me. I'll nah, leave it open. I want him to be bothered. Today. That's the guy with shit on his head. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, Shafid over here. Corey definitely looks like he's not wearing pants. <laughs> I'm not. How do, you, how do you know it's... Oh, I see. End. I get it. No. Okay. Oh, it says record. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, cool. i just making sure it's our first time to do this, man. With the oh, white headphones on, coming in hot with the... Uh, right up here in the middle, wherever he is. Next, My next door neighbor on the screen here. This is Mr. Uh, Tristan. Hello, everybody. Live he, from his mother's basement, it's Tristan. He takes care of our merch. He takes care okay. of All right. And now they're in the bottom right corner. Our good buddy, Mr. John Fish. Applause. Hey. Hey. John's our guitar uh, tech. Uh, I don't know master, what to look at. John is a uh, master of all trades, but we'll get to that in a little bit. I got some shit we got to do first. That's the important stuff. First, we got to get in here uh this show is brought to you by i had to write it down because i'm old uh i didn't say modern <laughs> modern to. acupuncture i'll uh, jesus i can't get it out modern <laughs> acupuncture alliance pure body benefits eagle mountain lake fort worth texas the mule barn sports bar grill the blue bayou fort worth bass champs number one tournament and green bean cables which is our very own Corey vice you can check all of those out at deadwoodfan.com backslash our info with um, a lot of things you can find our website you can find our merch you can find out where we're going to be what we're doing all that good stuff so make sure that you go to deadwoodfan.com backslash our info and check that out but without further ado Let's get into this. Let's let's catch up. Uh, the people haven't talked to us in like uh, fuck. I think it was May when we did the last one. June. I can tell you if you want me to. When was it? Uh, give me a second. Oh God! It Hurry up! Hurry should up! Moderator. You should have known that. Hurry Come up! Uh, I thought this was a band meeting. No, it's just <laughs> <laughs> this is a podcast. <laughs> How big to you oh. right now? Do you on a scale of one? To no, two? not at all. Oh. I'm just actually wearing my glasses for once. I mean, it's a good four. Well, you right look now. good. Wait, so we can do that. I put mine on, and they were like, I look like I was wearing like. There we go. That's about it. <laughs> seven <laughs> months ago. There you go. Whoa! Yeah. Seven oh, months. Seven I, months since the last. Seven months since we did a pod. Man, we're really good at this. This is great. <laughs> this is great. Seriously, even seven months. This is episode, oh, episode three? three episode three seven months later <laughs> what was episode one uh, yeah, i don't know 1998 january january we we were doing pretty good there for a minute i think we did january and then no you say? were doing pretty good for one episode well then the second episode <laughs> well hold on hold on we did have kind of an episode in that green room where uh bob broke that chair did you get that at a trucker stop headset no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just another random thing that he likes to spend money on in a truck stop because he didn't have anything better to do. <laughs> did you no. let's truth be told, did Emily get that for you? No, no, I told you the story. <laughs> we went to a game room, spent a lot of money on the games, got a bunch of tickets, and then we got two of these hats. The other hat got chewed up by the dogs. That makes at least sense. one survived. Oh, oh shit! The if I know Corey, there was a lot of gaming going. On. That's a lot of game ball, dude. There, there was like there was a solid probably ten minutes of a buffer sitting at the ticket machine or at the front of the room. Ski ball, and then just nothing but pure games after that. Pure ski ball going on. I bet he's a monster at ski ball. True. I bet he's not. I bet he's one of those dudes that runs up to the side of it and just starts chucking <laughs> balls in the hole. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, he probably just climbs up the whole track. He's like, hey, man, there's, there's, no, there's no coach no, here. There's no ref. No, no that's no not how you, that's not how you do it. You just throw it straight to the hole. <laughs> okay, so I got kicked out of the arcade outside of the stockyards, if anybody here knows what I'm talking about, because I got really drunk, and I nope. basically started pitching into the ski ball machine. <laughs> That's how you get the tickets. <laughs> That's how you get kicked out of the arcade. That's how I got kicked out of the arcade. Fairly you, know, you get an extra ticket. I didn't go back until I was sober. So, <laughs> how do you make the screen stop <laughs> jumping around, or does it just do that automatically? It just does that. The zoom does it by who's talking. See, everybody, look at Bob, sexy. Then I'll go to Tristan. Chelo. Chelo. <laughs> Top right, there's a thing called view. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Pick like speaker, gallery, or multi speaker. Sit yeah. in the gallery and you can see everybody. Whoa, oh, there, we there we go. You can turn hey, Bob off. <laughs> Am I the only one that had to use Zoom during fucking COVID? Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I mean, it's not like I was teaching Dude. a bunch of kids anything, but now I, I have, you know, four kids that I. Now you're teaching a bunch of kids things? Yeah. <laughs> Every time I look oh, at Corey, God, I can't help but think yeah. of like, Corey and Tristan. You know, kid that had to make it. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, bud. My man. AC, hold up one of those fries. I'm going to tell you. Uh, oh, I thought it was fries. I nah, looked dog. like he went to Brahms. No, nah, bro. No, but I'm I know someone in here right does now. want Brahms. Pain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, listen, man, I got to pretend like they didn't build that thing just down the street in walking distance. I'm going to text you in the morning. <laughs> gotta be very I'm careful. Gonna, I'm going to text you in the morning. Hey, this is a brawls by your house. I'm going to start doing that every morning. Uh, the breakfast on all mine. It's the cheeseburgers that, you know, man. Hold on. I check your weight now. And no. then. Fuck yes. You. What the no. fuck, Corey? Eat shit. Jesus Shut Christ. up. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a scale. We'll just okay. randomly put it on the stage. Make sure you bring your tens unit too. Oh, hey, Ooh. let me go get that. <laughs> I can show it to y'all. Okay. Yeah, try it out. Tell me all about it. Fish, you're, you're on to something. I don't know. Try it rivalry, out right now. I don't know if this rivalry existed on episode two between Bob and Corey. Oh, no, it did. Yeah, yeah. Well, which brings me to my next point. Corey, we're seven months later after the second episode. What is your drink of choice now? It's super glue. I, I don't have one. <laughs> You're not drinking a Red Bull or a Monster? Because if I correct, was it the first episode or was it the second episode where he, second was, one. he was cheating on Cheating on Red Bull with Monster? That was the second one. Mm. Yeah. I hadn't had a Red Bull since yesterday morning. Proudy. It's whatever we bring him to the stage. It's free. So, guys, I got to tell you, like, my Sarah made me clean this room today. It's like, clean? Yes, yes. And so, yes. like, there's all this, like, random <laughs> that's just sitting around everywhere. And I'm sitting here. I'm like, I should just start going, like, Super glue. <laughs> well, Corey, I uh nice. I, I haven't stopped. Uh, I got the old faithful rain out for time. Oh, you Bro, can't it see is, it. It is there's no longer oh, there a sun out. Why are That's, you drinking a rain? Listen, That's I made a mistake. I made a, I made a fatal mistake lately. Okay. Butt face. Which we gotta get into, but ah, Jesus. Two two of you guys know about it. Well, you all know about it. I bought that. That game stick with like the forty thousand plus yeah. games on it. Okay, is that yeah. what you call it? I was trying to have something fun to play with on the roads, sticking to the TVs, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what do you do with it? Uh, what? Don't worry about it, Corey. <laughs> and then that, that opened the door for me to turn on my Xbox. Ah. And then I ah. did, then I downloaded the new Call of Duty. Son of Gateway a... drug. I fought it. I made it a good what three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> this was bullshit. And it started by playing Halo. I started going back to all the old Halos. Keep that around, Bob, because we got uh we got something to talk about in a minute. But <gasps> what the fuck just happened? My I need ears. some sound sound under random <sighs> Whoa! I mean, I got him. Of I don't know if it comes through on here. 
if you play music, does it come through? I uh, Get know. copyright striked. Do it. Is that what it does? If you share it, if it's on YouTube, it's free domain. So technically, yeah. Just as long as it's, yeah. Good information. <laughs> yeah, free domain's a thing. What? That does not mean artists that drop mean, their music just wanna, on YouTube. Like, I can hear you guys, but I just went away from the fucking screen. Yeah, you did. You are pale white now. Pale white. <laughs> How do I get back into it? Get a tan, bro. Fucking hell. Share that I can touch grass. Down. You ever go outside? <laughs> Shit. Ghost face killer. I have to rejoin the meeting? <laughs> no. Like, no. Would you, you close out of it? Like, oh, wow. oh, fish, that was great. I just want you to know I heard that. That was awesome. Thank you. There it is. Wait, wait are there we all are. pretending like we can't see Justin? No, I'm back. I can't see you. Well, I'm here. Where? Open it's your nice. eyes. They're open. Open your eyes. I saw fish. I can't see Justin. That's all right. Okay. Uh, man, yes. all hail to James Earl Jones. Absolutely. Man. James Earl Jones passed on September 9th, 2024. He was 93 years of age. Feel the dreams, Mufasa, Darth Vader, but most importantly, King of Zamunda. Damn right. right. Damn. Um, hey, guys, I just got to let y'all know real quick. I totally just saw boobies. That's cool. <laughs> hey, Sarah, come back. You know how I know Bob has yeah. no respect for Darth Vader? James, yeah. That's real mature of you. Dude, I got you it. have no respect for Darth <laughs> Vader for saying <laughs> that. Being in Zamunda, <laughs> on live. I mean, let's well, most importantly, Darth Vader before anything else. Listen, most clean fish, your we all know that, but the most important role he ever played was King of Zamunda and played it well. I he had that cameo know, of Big Bang I, Theory. No, I'm just saying. I don't that know was... that role. What about uh, Sandlot? Man, he, was, he, was, he was pretty good in Roots. I really liked how he did in Roots, man. <laughs> My okay, God. not arguing that anymore. <laughs> not arguing anymore. All right. Okay. Sandlot. Did I hear about Frankie Beverly? Sandlot. Yeah. Late on. Frank, Frankie Beverly? No, he passed uh, yesterday as well. Huh? I don't know who that is. <laughs> Yeah, the, he, he co-wrote with Mace. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it, Damn. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that 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 happened as well. All right. Going on yeah, Google. Went so under the radar. Like I, I felt like I just got over the James Earl Jones thing, and like, and then this. And then I just, know, come on, like, like you talk about like, get it, dude was ninety three years old. I mean, it's sad. Don't get that's it all it was. That's all it was. It was just sad, bro. Like it's we, all. We should, we should all be so lucky to have a run like that dude did. You know, no like, doubt. Yeah, no. He, all he, I said, I was just like, thank you, Mister Jones, and enjoy your rest. You know, but I mean, you know, right? It wasn't like I'm more. I'm more like astounded by what great Dave Grohl did than, than anything else. <laughs> that, that made me sad. Oh, his kid outside the marriage. Seriously, man. He had another confession to make. <laughs> I saw, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. That was Christ. funny. My God, dude, dude. You know who I feel? I feel bad for the family that he's already got. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. No, for real. But seriously, it's like, why, dude? I mean, I felt like he told us all. We just didn't listen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I think he just he tried to go as long as he could while hiding it. <laughs> mm. I go back to I've got another confession to make, dude. Don't you have that on your on your Roland? Don't you have that? I got another confession to make. Don't you have that on there? I did, and Justin gave me this really, really, really crazy ass look the last time I accidentally <clears throat> it. So I think I just like got rid of it, sort of gone. Wait, let's just not have it's, it. I mean, it's like the internet though; it, it's in there somewhere. I can find it. A little seventy foot ever. <laughs> Stupid. Mad about it. Fish, how was your day, my friend? Uh it was lackluster. Uh didn't do much. I uh hung out with a dog. How's it going? Went, went to a couple parks. Right on. Yeah. 
That's pretty awesome, actually. Let's let's uh it. let's let the crew get to know fish. So uh you guys are gonna oh, see this shit. dude out at shows. Um you're gonna see him out on the side of the stage handing off guitars, handing off basses, fixing drums when it's necessary, uh occasionally playing the mandolin. Um <laughs> He also is really good at playing the skin flute, I've heard, but that's just got to really I've got a up, question. up the notes. Oh. Okay. All Fish. right. Shut Fish. up. How do you tune your skin flute? Because I can't get mine in tune. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> fucking God. We're just going to mute Corey. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to take a time out there, bud. First corporate yeah. meeting, Corey. Uh, I thought this unmute. was a meeting. I didn't know this was. Are people watching this shit? I Has hope. to unmute. We hope it's <laughs> so boy. I muted Corey by accident. I thought I could turn it back off, but I can't. <laughs> I muted him, and now I land to ask him. <laughs> he's completely unmute. muted. What yeah. is he like on? Um, say something, Corey. First, he's not allowed to go into gas stations. <laughs> now he's muted in the podcast. And you're on timeout, there, bud. <laughs> That's to unmute. That asshole a corner to sit in. So let's get to know Corey while he can't talk about it real quick. Ask Corey, what's your favorite uh, so instrument? Corey, you have to accept to unmute, bro. Get it, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, he's he's, he's ah, handing all that L. This is now officially a thing. <laughs> so we'll just get used to Uh-oh. it. Oh, you know, Corey should be seen and not heard anyway. So we're good. You just, you just oh right. my oh, fucking god! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! He's he's screwing his microphone. He's putting it up in the is in, in, in the shit. Yeah, you got a lot of shit on your mind, shit, and now you ain't got buddy. nothing, huh? Oh god! All right. I like how uh, on Corey on Corey's background, everybody look at like Corey's background, like right now, right? You got like a mean Corey to the left, <laughs> and then me looking off into nowhere, and then like a retarded Corey in the middle. <laughs> I do not. I do not get donuts at all. Oh man, God, this is great. This is great. So anyway, did you ever make it through the sponsors? Yeah, I did. I did. I sent everybody. I don't think any of them want to be a part of this. this I'm gonna have to edit this. I'm I don't. I don't this. either. So I don't blame them. Should have went with multiple audios, huh? <laughs> I'm going to go to church, so I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> you need Jesus, sir. You need Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I heard Corey, but I guess not. No. No, no he's not going to accept your request to unmute him, bro. He's he's going to die on this molehill. Somebody should do Corey's dub. Like, what would Corey be saying right now? <laughs> well, I guess, uh... <laughs> Like, what's the music going on in this head right now? <laughs> this fire is okay, he's back. Now he's back. All right. Oh, there he goes. Go ahead. Now we can hear you. Make sure you mic, pull your mic, pull your mic down. It might still work. Talk. I found it. There it is, <laughs> there it is buddy. There found it your is. special purpose. Fuck. <laughs> No, bro. <laughs> have you guys been following us we've had a lot of cool things that have happened this summer uh we've we've actually played quite a few damn good shows this summer man uh we've had some first uh i believe ac and bob got their first bus treatment Corey or tristan as well got his first bus treatment hell yeah a couple of weeks ago on just happened to be like the hottest fucking day of the summer then we end up going to play a rodeo in the desert yeah, that happened. Great idea. It was a great idea. Uh, now, as soon as the weather starts to cool down, it starts to get nice. We're we're not going to play another outside show until it's negative twenty degrees outside. That's 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 <laughs> a desert. Hard. Yeah, like like I don't know if we're outside for this barbecue joint or this barbecue event that's in the background of Corey's deal right now. I don't know if on Saturday for outside or inside. You've you've AC. You've played this place before. Is it inside or outside? Uh, there's an inside stage. Uh, I've only I've only played inside. Well, it's supposed to get back up to ninety five degrees this weekend, so That's I'm probably going to be mouth, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about it. <laughs> oh, leave it alone. Oh Jesus Christ! Bob's not, wrong, Bob's not wrong at all. Bob's not wrong at all. Are we looking at nineties? Here comes oh, Tristan with the, the statistics. Is- 
the high is 100 and the low is 76. Yep. Oh, man. That's well, we're going to play outside because that's what we fucking do. Three to five. <laughs> Three to five. Oh, peak. But we've had some good shows, man. And we've had some really badass things happen for us. So that's, I'd say yeah. that's a record of the year. Uh, we were talking about that early on in our first episode about how we were anticipating some big things happening for us coming up. And uh, now we've all gotten so busy that we have to resort to a Zoom call in order to have a podcast. We can't just get in a room and smell each other anymore. Gross. That's true. Bitch <laughs> is so turned off by this. He's like, I don't want to know. I don't want to. I already know. Well, I already know. Carlos. Just <laughs> shit in the macaroni for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Might as well. That is still, will still go down in history is the best story is that first. <laughs> what, hotel, what hotel was it? I think we were in Brownwood. Yeah, it was, it was, it was at La Quinta. Yeah, yeah La Quinta. it was La Quinta right next to that Denny's. <laughs> yeah, that whole, that whole TV show shit. that was on. <laughs> My very first show on the road. This was it was a nightmare. It started <laughs> right after right after uh, load in and sound check. Come on, it, it started at Denny's. <laughs> Do a deep dive. Let's let's talk about Denny's. I want to hear your perspective of Denny's because uh, no, your perspective. I want to hear your perspective on Denny's. Everyone in here has heard my perspective of Denny's. <laughs> Denny's here, started yeah. a war. That picture. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they just took a shit. I, I sent this to Justin's wife and I, and I captioned it. Um, that stance you have shortly after shitting your pants in a college station. So it's college station. I didn't shit my pants. Like an <laughs> asshole. Yeah. I, did. I came this close to shitting my pants. <laughs> this close. You did it. Gross. I fucking take it, take it to the grave. Bro. All the way to the bathroom. Like bro, it's coming. Great, and if this door that I would, I would be honest, if that door had been locked, <laughs> I wasn't going to shit my pants. I'd have just drop trout right there and shit on their fucking floor. Somebody, <laughs> yes. I'd have been like, here, you know what? Don't care. Yeah, but like, how many things in the world are like, oh, I got that close, but it didn't really happen, you know? Uh, that pretty much happened. That's a great point. <laughs> I mean, I've got two in, you're two inches. What do you out. mean? I was two you never had to pitch a game. turtle for a 30 minute drive home? It happens to the best of us, man. This happens to you a little more often. It's all right. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> we can. Yo, Bob's here for war. Get, he start. He starts. He, he lets it go, and then he brings it back, and he wants to start these wars, and then he wants to it's bitch about you letting it go, though. Is it? What's that? Is like, this all about you letting it go? Like this whole thing is about your gas? Oh yeah, about me farting. Whoa, 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 whoa. This started with the man two screens down, Mister Poop Hat over here, and Denny's all of a sudden just like, hey Tristan, uh, yeah, it was Mister <laughs> Shithead over here. <laughs> Who shit? By the way, this Diddy's is connected to a fucking gas station. First of all, well, that hotel it was, was asking, right across the fucking parking lot. Corey lifts up, farts. <laughs> Bob follows suit. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Follow- yes, sir. Oh, Mr. Innocent Bob didn't. over there. I'm Bob. I, was I, was admit it. I was the only one that didn't poop in your pants. No, I didn't either. <laughs> I didn't either. You farted. I remember it. I almost you everybody did, farted did. except AC. I did not. Yes, <laughs> and and fish. No, and me. I was. I just quit eating because it, it was just got me, so Bob, bad. and in but, but in order it went Corey, me, Bob, and then and then it went it, started it, fish got stuck with the last part of it because <laughs> I was trying to get my to go box and the waitress was already so forgetful and I'm sure the smell was so nauseous to her she was really forgetting everything. Oh and so I asked her for a box like twice and you were like, well, I'm going to go over to the hotel, deal with that. And I said, oh, thanks. And then I'm just banging on the window, like, let me out. <laughs> and you're just laughing as you walk to the hotel and you shit drove, your pants. Drove, got in that van, pressed on the gas, shit out and my shit ass. your pants. See, the, best, the best part about it, though, was that you, you were doing all these farts and then just silence. Oh yeah. No, no. yeah, it was like it was like, it was, uh, and then it was like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, this is no longer funny. Go, gotta go. Like it was like, take off running. Shit, this is a bridge too far. I have pushed it. I have pushed the limit. 
like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I pushed I'm it in the turn until the turn blocked the hole and it was ready to go. And I was like, uh oh, no. And then that's how we have a great podcast. This is what we talk about. And I blame <laughs> shithead over here. Well, see, but if you use a good word like flatulence, then it classes the joint up a little bit. Right. So flatulence. So what? It just basically makes it deadwood. <laughs> well, damn. Like that the is, show, the work, in that fucking that North Dakota. Dakota, you South guys Dakota. just want you want somebody in this band to shit their pants, preferably the lead singer, because you played for a shitty guy before. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be the I first pants. Why? It wouldn't On be the stage. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, let's not go naming names, though. Let's, let's not, not saying names. Just saying obvious things. I mean, people know who they are. <laughs> you know, like how many guys are out there? Like, oh yeah, I've. Never done that before. Can't wait what? to see the comments on this, man. He's gonna be like, "No, I didn't." Be like, <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> I'm gonna poop. Yeah. You know, uh, Bob's such a scheduled pooper. Why don't we schedule a show in the middle of his poop schedule and see what happens between nine and eleven a.m. Well, see, but it's something. If it doesn't happen between nine and eleven a.m., then I just save it for the next day. So let me ask you a question: Why is it nine a.m. and eleven a.m. on? September 11th, though. It's every day. It's, it's oh, a, okay. What they what they call a constitutional, you know, it's just it's just that thing you do, you know. It's like right. you, up, you have your coffee, you're yeah, good. Get the poop knife out, call it good, and you're good for 24 hours. Or you in your case, you, you if you can't find the poop knife, you use the coffee stick. Call coffee Bob. stick. Oh, Bob. There's always a poop knife ready. <laughs> My God, dude! <laughs> what, the fuck? what are you skinning your shit? Uh, yeah, I got the other one for smaller ones. Okay, so I was right. cleaning my room and all these popped up. You know what really sucks is like when when we go forward, people are gonna ask questions <laughs> like Tristan and Fish and be like, "So, what was your first like year like with the band?" I don't know. All we did was fart and shit each other, <laughs> shit on each other. <laughs> Talk about shit and farts. Was there any shows in there? Yeah, I think. But I think if I can remember, I was saying it was a lot of smells. (laughs) You know what? I said my first year is about to happen in October. Yeah, AC's coming up. I'm right in there with that one. (laughs) AC's coming up on his. AC's had a very eventful first year with the band, at least since I've. Been a part Truth of, be like, told, if anybody want to know who really can fucking feel the paint in this band, <laughs> it's the drummer. Hundred <laughs> percent, it's the drummer. One hundred percent, that dude could fucking nah. He, he could clear more. No bullshit. This guy could clear <laughs> it's more. So bad, we don't even talk about it. Yeah, we do not. <laughs> That's how bad that. it is. Fish, you think it's bad? I'll tell you what. Next time we go to the hotel, you two room together. Even if he respectfully goes to the shitter and shits. Oh, dude. I, I it's no like fan Voldemort. Yeah, it's like Voldemort. We don't even say its name. There's no way it could be worse than <laughs> It's not. I promise. It's not. I promise. I've roomed with Justin for years. And <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I promise. It's, it's hey, not worse. Corey, isn't the, didn't the anniversary of that, isn't that, isn't that coming up next week or was it this one? One moment. One moment. We got it in the calendar. Oh, here it is. It's like burps. September 23rd. Yes. yes. I was on Ozempic. I, had the egg- I mean, I- <laughs> it was bad enough to me and Corey like had to put it in a calendar. That was just smart farts taking an elevator, bro. That's <laughs> it's terrible, bro. It's so bad. So we got the fall coming up and we got some big things in the works. So uh, what are you guys looking forward to the most? Would you say for the rest of the year besides booking more shows? What you can do at deadwoodfan.com backslash our info. Please. Uh, we got we got dates, we gotta get filled, you know what I'm saying, man. We all gotta work. I'm, gotta make a purse. I'm we personally one really... Porta John. One Porta John at the ready. I'm excited for the 29th of this month, to be honest. Oh yeah. That's yeah, uh, that's gonna, gonna be great. Be, it's gonna be crazy. I've been uh, digging, I've been digging getting out to all the new spots. Like I would have never if you would if you'd have told me last year that we were gonna go south, I would have called you fucking crazy. I fucking hated that all we did, all I did fucking was work to go north. And somehow we ended up south of Austin. Way south. 
all the way down to the ocean. <sighs> it's working. You took AC. You took AC all the way to Crosby. <laughs> Again, yeah. I wasn't going to mention it, but that's what I meant by crazy. Had a crazy first year. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, man, saw your park. I got to give a shout out to Maddie. I hope you guys. I hope you have a safe recovery. He got. He's in the hospital this week. Uh, the dude from Sawyer Park. Uh oh. Having like a triple bypass, something like that. Good lord. So uh hope safe safe recoveries for that man. And uh when you get well, call your boy because I'd like to open up for every clear <laughs> on the twenty second of this month. Jeez, yeah, cut yeah. straight to it. Yeah, man. Hey, business is business. Yeah, we we'd fit with that band. <laughs> get well, <laughs> help us out. Let's just go. Let's just show up with all our stuff. Set up like we're supposed to be there. Yeah. Uh, a fake double booking. Yeah. I bet you oh, we're really? bigger than that other band, like size wise. Like we'd probably take them. We're the good old boys. Like all the bands that are open. Uh, yeah. um, Country and Western. <laughs> um, it's a thing. Sneak off back here. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Tristan. Disappear into the dark. Get, yeah. Get closer into there. This is to the dark. This hey, to look, the darkness I'm, of your mother's basement. I think this is my mother's basement. It's crazy, Bob. Yeah, you look like is you look, your grandmother's basement. If it's you not really a basement like, at all. Well, in Texas, it is because it's one level lower than your living room. Not a level, but like a couple of inches. You know I, what I'm saying? It's a garage. That's a Texas. Okay. Oh, it's, it's a, a garage Texas basement. <laughs> So yeah, much it's a garage. Oh, you call. look like you still live in your fucking college dorm room. Don't fucking talk to me. Hey. <laughs> and you're a grown ass man and have yeah. your own here house. we go. Yeah. Grown ass man, huh? All right. All right. Washing the table. Washing <laughs> no. the table. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do it. Do it. All right. Cool it. Cool it. Okay, wait here. There's oh, there's the good stuff. God, he jerks off to that every fucking morning. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> look at that. Says two. Like I take this lightsaber. Ah. <laughs> this is my paint yeah. saber. See, so Three ones for semen, purple ones for fighting. What well, one day, Tristan, you'll be able to have this magnificence. You're right. Jerk off, you will. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, it's messed up. Like I haven't been to that Galaxy's Edge. You know the 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 Disney World, the Star Wars thing. Oh. But like every time anybody I know goes there, they always buy me something. So I've got all this cool stuff from there. But I myself have never been. Like I've got the, these are cool. Check this out. Like the cokes that they sell there, I like that, right? But if you look close, it's actually in the Star Wars language. That's oh, stupid. Cool. That's called Arabesh. <laughs> it actually, it's like it's a real. It's a real like. There's letters and stuff. I often thought about how cool it would be to get like something awesome like an Arbesh on my arm, but it's like I'm a geek. Yes, maybe not that much of one. It'd be really cool if you just you drank it right now. You are. It'd be really cool if you drank it. Dude, so drink it. Drink, drink it. Drink it. Drink, drink it. it. Drink, drink it. Drink it. So my father in law got me a diet coke and he drank it. But one of my students went and got me a Coke, and it's actually unopened. So should I really drink it? No. Yes. yes. No. Yes. You should yes. not. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 I was this kidding. Is, I was joking. This oh. is fed has just done it over there. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet it tastes horrible. No, it tastes, it tastes flat. Like, no, it tastes like Coke. It was always. Oh, was... uh, now I gotta finish it, man. Yeah, chug it. 48 uh, grams of sugar. Chug it. I can't do it. <laughs> where, where, oh what man! Oh, 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 oh man! <laughs> Can't do it. Not, not much of a story. Are you looking at this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh man! Oh, here we go. Us. He's like looking around. He's like, "Where the hell did I put it? Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> it's buried under this base over here." It's in a closet. Make sure I had both bases in the picture. It's in, it's in a closet. 
<laughs> the dog showing up freaked me the fuck out. Oh, God. That's, that's good. That timing was insane. Ellie. So you guys haven't seen that thing, so that's my that's my joke. Hey, hey, look at that. The 1951K with stickers on it. Dog's barking outside. She's about to freak out. So we also did something else pretty cool this year. We uh we, we played <laughs> sorry match, we played, <laughs> hey, we, hey, we played hey, matchmaker hey. without playing matchmaker. Oh hey, fuck! Okay. This is getting podcast room. Oh, this man, this crazy. is a good one. <laughs> this is a... So I just want to start by thanking the paranormal world for this. Yep, one hundred percent. One one hundred percent. Craig and I went out and did the paranormal thing, and then got interviewed by a newscaster, news reporter. Sorry. <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> Jesus. And then she came and did the report on the Reach music video, which we're going to talk about in a minute. And then from that day on, she's been with our drummer. <laughs> it's been from that day on. Yes. Yes. It is good. Yes. He knocked it out of the park, and then he knocked it out of the park. 1980s slow clap. <laughs> Oh, it only picks up one of our I'm mics not. at a time, so it's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Everybody, cl- here, I'll clap. Nope, I didn't hear it. There it is. Bob, your mic sucks. What is that? A fucking Audio Technica? I, I don't think. I think he's using his computer audio, but he thinks he's talking to his mic. Well, that's what you get for doing your own thinking. Well. Do you have Ooh. it set to your mic? Because it sounds like you're talking to you through your computer. Yeah, this computer doesn't have audio. <laughs> it does. But does your camera? Huh? Does your camera, though? It's got a really good camera on it. No, the camera's up there. Don't you worry about what I got going on here. I was you doing a- lessons for two years during Arona before you even got on Zoom. So you have a cat cue? What's that? So anyway, back cat- to what we were saying. We got... <laughs> So, Mr. Yeah, Capers has fallen in love. Dude, this is insane. I'm got him a got him a good woman there. Can't wait to see her at Thanksgiving. It's gonna be good. We and a Halloween party it. and a Halloween party. Uh, she's actually booked for their Halloween party. I don't give a damn. She better get off work. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't think that's how her job works. Right. I- <laughs> All right. Yeah, she's got like a real job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She does, yeah. One of those things. things. That's punny. A real job, real because reels, <laughs> maybe reels. No. What would be awesome is if she like came right through that door right now. AC. Like, is she is she I, home? I, with I, you? No, not tonight. Okay. Oh, fish. Yep. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, fish. Y'all are. This is getting giggity. So <laughs> fucking just. Yes, it's right. going great. By the way. <clears throat> good. Good. Great. Got a wedding date yet? Jesus fucking Christ. Moving along. Okay. Corey's daughter had her first birthday this year. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. on that, buddy. Yeah. It's good when she turned one years old. One years. Oh, yeah. One years, man. And you know what's crazy about that is that it came up on the calendars, like, or it came up in memories, like, oh, he's going to the hospital. Oh, yeah. This is when he was going to the hospital. Oh, this is when he had the kid. Oh, this is when we left to go to Brownwood. Oh, this is when he forgot the keys to the car. <laughs> he took the keys with him, left the car unlocked back at the hospital after his wife just gave birth and they couldn't get home. It was really good. And we just happened to be playing Brownwood again this year on that exact same weekend, which was really weird. I was like, oh, wow. They still got the car seat. That's what matters. How many trees did you chop down this week? Oh, uh... <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about shit that matters. Yeah, how much of the nature did you destroy? How do you, I don't know how to measure trees in cubic feet, but I could fill two two trailers with logs. Wow. And then the limbs, I just take out to the road. You keep telling me these to sell this shit. Put it in bundles and put it on Facebook. Come get it. You don't have to put right. it out on the street. Okay, it's for sale. Come buy it. How much a bundle? Why would you sell it to us? We're family, bro. What? What is See, that about? See, this is bro? why I can't sell. I'll it. buy it from you. I've got I'll, so I'll, many family members. I'll buy fifty dollars worth of fucking wood from you. I I would. 
How yeah. much is fifty dollars? What is that? How much you think it is? Uh, I think fifty logs. Seven, seven eleven, or actually down the street, they'll do like a, uh, they'll do a not a pallet, but they'll do like a half of so, like a a wheelbarrow full for like mm-hmm. fifty bucks. Say fifty dollars. Oh, fifty dollars is probably a quarter of a cord. Yo, just homie to homie. However much you feel, fifty dollars is worth. Yeah, man. A cord, oh. and a cord, Dude, a cord. I, I will load a... that lawnmower trailer up, and you just pay me what you want. A, a full truck. All right, bed, so I'm gonna give you fifty dollars. We'll give you a about two hundred bucks. A full truck bed's two hundred bucks. Fish. I would say about two hundred bucks because fifty dollars is like a quarter of a cord. A cord is basically a truck bed. Yes. Okay, I didn't know that. There you go, Corey. So All how right. Many, okay. How many truck beds do you think you could fill up? Oh wait, hey Shags. Standard truck size bed I could fill I up. Remember how much would fifty dollars get you in wood? Cut? Currently, with the logs on the ground, I could probably do four or five. Two, four, six, uh, ten. There's a thousand dollars, Bubba. Um, with the other trees coming down, I could probably do five more. So I'm I, had, I had to go. I had to go get a bigger <laughs> chainsaw. <clears throat> A true full cord of firewood is a stack of firewood measuring eight feet wide, four feet tall, and four feet. Jesus. The total volume of a cord is 128 cubic feet. It's called a cord because lumberjacks in the 17th century would harvest and store firewood in these same stacks using cords of rope to secure them in place. Uh, Interesting. (laughs) What? Now you know. You should have put your glasses on for that. Uh, Out there for a second. God, I thought I was back in school. Well, what'd your what'd your boyfriend say, Tristan? There most of the day. What'd you say, Fish? What'd your boyfriend say? Oh, my boyfriend. Oh, that's what we're okay. Okay. I see how you want to play. All right, that's fine. No. Uh my roommate and oh, roommate. brother um said he didn't understand the question. So no, like firewood. Why does he sound like Jeffrey Dahmer? See, what I don't get is oh, why okay. do you guys want to know where the term a quarter wood comes from. Like, I knew what it meant. I knew what it meant. Is that a play a cello? And how big it was? You know. Okay. Is that why you're falling asleep? Because I didn't. That's why I used Google, and it was good to know. So now if I ever go on Jeopardy, boom, quarter wood. There you go. We're going to get you ever... Jeopardy, Bob. We're going to get you're... you one day, buddy. Don't worry. You're wide enough. You're wide enough for sure. You'll, you'll, either, be on, you'll be on, either be on Jeopardy or you're going to be on fucking Price is Right, one of the two. I, I, I audition for Jeopardy every year. Every year they have, they uh, they, they do, it's an online test. <coughs> Maybe you're too smart. No, it's not. Yeah. It's if you... like 100,000 people try and then you get to these levels. I always get to the last one, but once there's like a thousand people left, it's just a lottery. So once, so it's one in a thousand, you know, and I'm not pretty enough for TV. So they call it a lottery, but I know I never make it past that point, but I always make it to that point. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> that oh, thing, man. I, I, the that phone thing. Just knows, man. It even knows when he's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Uh, I have a question for y'all. All right. Like, what is y'all's favorite moment of the year for you guys? My birthday. Christmas. The band. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Is that your favorite three words? What? You say that like every sentence. I'm like, He's right. Oh, is, is he? JF- yeah. See it a lot. Yeah. JFC? Yeah. 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 That's okay. like your go-to. JFC for life. No. Yeah. You're putting kind of some bad juju on us a lot. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I know we all we all, I know we all cuss and stuff, and yeah, we all right. kind of say like stuff right. similar, right? Right. But you're really just bringing it out there, right? Yeah. No, I'm sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. What are you even talking about? Yeah, what happened? Uh, his JFC sayings. Jesus fucking Christ! Are you serious? Jesus fucking Christ. I'm getting getting fucking schooled over here, bro. What the fuck is this? Like (laughs) fish, that was fucking perfect. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I don't know. That's a valid question. So your question, Tristan, is what's our favorite 
What was what was our favorite moment this year? Yes. <clears throat> Story, um, go first. That's crazy. What? What was your favorite <laughs> with the man this year? Ooh. Um, golly. Uh, honestly, I think it's when. God, that's it's hard to say it as a moment. That's, yeah, that, that's 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 a hard question, man. There have been a lot of really good ones. I'll so tell you what, I got it. I got it. So I got it. it. When right. we rolled to 70,000 likes on, uh, was it like, uh, Lighthouse or Rain? Uh, rain. Rain. Yep. Uh, just watching those numbers go up. I mean, it was kind of like a long moment, but like staying up late, checking the numbers, an hour later checking the numbers and just watching it roll and roll and roll and roll. I think yeah. that 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 was a good, good memorable time of the. <clears throat> Man, I got, I got like, you, I, well, I got like different moments. Like as far as like favorite like performance or show we played, man, it was cold as hell. But opening up for Reverend Horton Heat was that was a fun one. Um, as far as far as like moments go, it was weird. It was actually just this. Uh, what was that? Two weeks ago or a week ago when we were? That wasn't like, this year though, man. That was December. It was in January. Was yeah, it? I thought yeah, it was was it. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, this would have happened within a year, like because I was at that show. Oh, okay, that's right. As far as like moments, it was weird, and I was by myself, but it was when we were at that Airbnb out in the country, and uh, that really nice one, and I just like went out back and laid in the grass and just stared at the stars. Like it felt like that was like the first time like all year I had to just like silence and just like stop and kind of appreciate. You know, because, like, yeah, stuff gets hard sometimes and stuff like that. But, dude, we could all be, like, greeting at Walmart or shoveling shit or something. Oh, and, and the the fact that, you know, just played an awesome show, just embarrass the guy that we opened for. And then just go lay down in the nice grass and look at the stars. You know, that's – does it get better? I don't know. I don't, if, if it does, I'll see it when I get there. But that was, I think, right. my best moment. What about you, AC? Man, realistically, it was the uh, it was by my very first show with you guys in Shawnee. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Like really? Not knowing, yeah, not knowing any of you besides Bob. Like really? Uh, I had just left a band that I had been with for damn near a decade, <laughs> and like I'm gonna meet these dudes in Oklahoma as I'm traversing my way to Arkansas to go do this wedding gig. So like, that show is going to like that weekend was going to make or break like where I was, what direction I was going that year. You think you made the right decision? Oh yeah. I just think that like <laughs> if I had done poorly. <laughs> I was absolutely going the party band route. <laughs> like, 100%. Sure. I was already en route. Um, so Man, like, hey, see, I, I guess I'll tell you this. Whenever we had that rehearsal at Justin's and me and Justin were smiling at each other, there was no going back. Yeah. yeah. Without I just thought that was a really weird thing that y'all did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Well, not that kind of smiling. The other kind. Oh, oh okay. you got a rehearsal, man. I just met with Justin in his dingy garage shop for twenty minutes, and then did a gig with him like two days later. Yeah. I didn't know that was. A- I didn't need. I didn't need to. I didn't need to. Uh, I didn't need to find another bass player. I was like, okay, this works. This is this will work. I didn't know that was a rehearsal. To- <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, well, no, I mean, technically it was a tryout. Yeah, I just remember a tryout, and I wound up having a rehearsal. Like, oh, okay, shit. All right. Yeah, technically, it was a tryout, and you know, uh, I mean, especially what we had been through for that like past two weeks. <clears throat> you know what I mean? It was like there was really a moment of going like, well, if this if this doesn't work, I just I guess we're just gonna stay as a trio for as long as we can. Cause we were kind of just running out of rope there. We we're just like, what do we do? What do we, what do we, what are we going to do here? And then when you came in and I knew that when we played those four songs, I was like, if he can nail these even close and stay on with this loop station, we're going to be fine. And that's, that's the trickery in it is that like we've talked about before is, is staying with that loop station. It's not on a click. We're not running through any kind of system. It's just me looping it. And then you going from us following you to you following it and back and forth and being able to do that live. 
without running to a click track or having you know tracks in our ears and shit like that like that was that was uh that was the that was the ticket man so yeah it was cool um Open what about you what about you tristan what i mean you've been with us for a while now man i i've been with you for a long long time oh yeah but i've been with you for a couple of your projects um was there with you at the end of big casino and then you know went on from there killing every boomer jacks in texas um Woo! honestly my favorite moments when i first came to you when i just showed up at uh broncos you know some serious yeah. stuff had happened in my life yeah. um and i just came to you i'm like look bro i just want to be busy and i just want to be back on the road with you and i was like look like I'm not in this for pay. I just want to help. Right. And the amount of like, you know, obviously everybody didn't know who I was. I met Corey one time before that. I didn't even know I met him at that point. I got a picture. That's crazy. That picture just showed up too. That's insane. But um, no, it was just seeing y'all's chemistry. That first show, it was just, I was like, wow. Yeah. Okay. Because I saw a side of you like, you know, I've seen you smile and laugh on stage, but like seeing that in you, because I knew you, you know, when I got there, seeing that in you, I was like, okay, yeah, he's he's got something here, and to see where y'all've gone, it's a lot more to... fun when you have guys that want to play and aren't right. there for the paycheck. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. It's a lot. It's yeah. a hell of a lot different, and it was a lot easier this time through because, like, you know, lifestyle changes that me and you, you know, I'm speaking for me and you right now, went through. Yep. It was. You know, made things. I don't know. I just enjoyed that night, bro. Yeah, man. First time I left Bronco sober, I was like, I can get behind this. Now, before I ask Fish, Fish, you've been, you and I have known each other for over twenty years, and yeah, I mean, you've, you, you're a musician. Like, you're not just a guitar tech. I'll never look at you as just a guitar tech. You're doing a guitar yeah. tech as a job. But yeah, you're a drummer, you're a bass player, you're a guitar player, you're a mandolin player, you're kind of a jack of all trades. And I mean, fuck, dude, I just I just edited a bunch of uh, promo videos um, this week uh, for someone that we're not going to talk about that. Uh, we I did this promo video and I was doing one for uh, Mike Ryan and I was like, mm -hmm. hey, look at that. There's fish on drums. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I made sure that in that promo, like I was like, I'm going to make sure that he is. In here. <laughs> Damn, there he is. And it was really cool. So it. You've come in as a tech in this band, and so you've only done what 10, 15 shows, maybe? No, I've done more than that. I think so. I mean, I've, He's crushing the I mean, mark. I think, yeah, I mean, when, when did you post that thing about needing a guitar tech? It's been a while now. It's been a while. <clears throat> I mean, I only missed, I mean, I've, I've missed a handful of shows, but not that many yeah you know um, have you had any uh favorite moments well my first first that comes to mind is the first show with y'all when i was like holy shit these guys have something that's no one else is doing and i was so burned out with like almost just music in general and i've had this conversation with everybody pretty much but a lot with ac and i was like you know just driving home with him just like man y'all are doing something that no one else is doing that if you can get me dancing and like getting all excited and shit on the side of the stage, like that takes a lot for me to just be like super enthused about like original material instead of just coming to go back to like watching what I always go back to, like John Bonham and stuff, like to encourage myself to play more music. Seeing somebody who's doing it fresh and something in a different take, like that's always been that's been my favorite thing about this whole entire project. Yeah, man. Like you guys, you guys are, and the, the way y'all interact with each other is like everybody can, you know, I don't see a bunch of fights, you know, there's, there's hardly any. And, and if there are, they're squashed like immediately. And it's just like, you know, just give that guy some space. Whereas sometimes people just let shit build and build and build. And then they get upset with each other. And then, you know, yeah. the, the, the cool thing is, is everyone's out in the open with everything. Trans and that's, that's what I really like. Amen. 
Dude, if I had to give one, it's going to be the we show. We didn't ask you. Well, Nobody asked you. Fair enough. All right. I'll shut uh, up. Dude, you, you should just be happy we're all here for you. So. Hey, hey, Justin. Hey, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> we couldn't have a serious moment at all. <laughs> Not one. Not one, favorite bro. Favorite moment. Go for it, Justin. Please. Seriously. Permission I'm to speak. Mine was, Tex- mine was Texas Live after the Stapleton concert. Yeah. Yeah. When oh, that, that was a good one. When that, when that screen came up and we were there, we were either two things were going to happen. They were either <laughs> going to love us or they were going to hate us because you just had these people come out of a Stapleton concert, number one. Number two, they come over to Texas Live. If they're walking into the bar after fighting that thousands and thousands of people for that crowd and then they come in and you could tell as they were coming in they were just they look like they just got their shit kicked out of them trying to get down in that pit watch this con standing in one spot forever i don't know if a lot of you know man but you like you go to like any one of these outdoor festivals and you go down in the pit and those people that are standing there the whole fucking time and then you notice it's kind of like the dude in the pool that never gets out to take a piss and then the ground clears there's piss all over the place, man. People are just pissing where they're standing. And that happens out of these concerts. So these people are coming in. They stink. They're tired. So we were either going to get booed off stage or they were going to love it, man. And that whole crowd came to life. And there was just, there's a picture online of it, man. It's just from the front row to the back of the room and all the way up to the top levels is just people <clears throat> all jamming. And we gave them 90 minutes of just kick you in the teeth. And it was awesome. We came off that stage, had a hell of a response, and everybody came up shaking hands. I think that's another thing that's really awesome about this band is that when the fans come up and talk to you, they're genuine. They're not. There are some bullshitters that come up to the stand, and you can always tell who they are because they want something for free. Hey, man, let me get a hat. What? 30 bucks? I ain't paying that fucking shit. Okay, bye. You know? But it's the fans that come up and be like, man, let me get a hat, a t-shirt, blah, blah. They don't even ask the price. They just swipe the card. They do it. and they, Or they come up and they just hug you and go, man, that was amazing. Like, this is just, get, you know, this touched me or this helped me. And I've had a lot of people tell me that our music is helping them. And that, to me, for this year, from the EP getting released April in April to now, for those six songs to be changing somebody's life one of those tunes blows my mind blows my fucking mind the the fact that it gives me i'm getting chills talking about it but like just the fact that i know at least 20 people that have said there are songs on the record that have helped progress their life and that to me is awesome so if there's a favorite moment it's that for us I tell you about Texas Live, dude. I love that room. Uh, I love that room. Gary is like definitely top two, three favorite sound guys. Totally. So, so play, but inside it's hard it because there's that big screen above us, and like, like even if there's if there's just one person out there that's like into what we're doing, I'll find them and I, I play for that that one person. It doesn't matter if there's a hundred, one or a thousand. But the weird thing is, is I'll see that they're totally into what we're doing, but they're staring at that screen. I'm trying to look at them and I could tell that they're like, I'll make a face and they laugh at it, but they're not looking at me. It's, 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 it's weird. I, I don't know. Selfish it, motherfucker. No, it's absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> your, your head is this gigantic on screen, but I want you to look at this little head over here. Cause I'm trying to make faces at you. Listen, I'm trying to connect with you. Me. Exactly. Hey, you know, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah, it's it, that's a weird thing. Is that I keep forgetting that they got cameras on us and we're up on those screens. Like I, I totally forget about that. But dude, even when we were at um, you mentioned a minute ago when we played at uh, Rattlesnake, that crowd, you know, shit, fuck, man, shit, tours off that place, blew the tours <laughs> off that place. People. They were- begging for us to go back on i'm walking around that you guys went back to the cabin i'm walking around that crowd people are like man i paid 35 dollars to watch you guys play tonight without a doubt this is garbage a hundred percent and i don't know how many people fucking told me that I, I lost count after 20 you know and i'm not afraid to say that either man because it's cutthroat in this business 
And I've been, I've had my fucking throat slit so many fucking times in over 30 years that I got no problem fucking coming on here and saying, we fucking mopped the floor with your ass. Suck it up, buttercup. See, there's professional throat slitting. Ta-da! And that's what you're doing right now. I, I'm just going to respect. I'm it. not going to say the name. Exactly. Was, professional you know, throat slicer. You know, you're like, you're like samurai. May your death benefit all living beings. <laughs> I mean, it was literally a mortal, mortal combat moment. Finish him. There's a. Um, Those folks definitely weren't ready for what we so were. So you guys also were on kind of a roll uh, putting up videos doing a lot of live a lot, lot of live content and two music videos do y'all have a besides ac obviously because that one's not out yet so relax with that answer do you have got, a I've got favorite <laughs> do y'all have a favorite music video that y'all did this year including your lives so like your lava cantina live your uh, broncos live so far uh, lighthouse Lighthouse was really cool. Lighthouse Keeper was really cool. It was really cool to do that song and to see that it's still like number one on our charts. Like yeah. you go and look at like all the songs out of our record and that song on Spotify and our iTunes is the the one that gets the most played and on YouTube gets the I, most. I, played. I could share this opinion on uh, Lighthouse. Um, like what me and Bob do at the beginning draws me in. And yeah. that's hard for me to look back and go, Man, I I actually actually like this, and it, it's me and Bob doing it instead of like throw that track away. Right. And then when you get into the lyrics, without having to like getting stoned, I get lost into the lyrics. I get lost. I'm like picturing all these like that the the horse and the cra- the Chanel down and shoulder jewel whatever that thing is. Right. Uh, like I get lost in the lyrics, so I start picturing it in my head. That's why I this love is the song. coolest song we've done. Like Scott Copeland, man, like he wrote that song uh, with Mike McClure, but stoned out of his mind, and just absolutely fucking nailed it, nailed it. Just a crazy story. And I, the first time I heard that song, before I heard that song from Scott before I heard it from Cross Canadian, and then when I heard Cross Canadian do it, I was like, oh. They ZZ top the shit out of this song. Like, because the way Scott does it is very, like, softer than we do it. Way soft. And so, like, when I start out that way in the verse, that's how he does it. Very just him, guitar, and then it builds. But it doesn't do the pop, 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 pop. That's a cross thing. So the fact that we took both ours and what he, they did and what he did and then put our piss on it, like, worked out great but i think man as far as music video goes like the best has yet to come um yeah obviously I think, I, I, like people haven't seen reach yet and that comes out let's let's get into that september 29th we're going to be releasing a music video called reach uh, for our song reach and i listen Editing that video was the, one of the most emotional days, like top five emotional days I've had in my whole life. Like I'm sitting here trying to edit and I couldn't stop from like almost crying every time as I'm watching it. I'm just going, man, Jesus. I had to keep, keep watching and keep like, keep, you know, editing and putting everything together. And I was just like, oh, geez, emotionally draining. And by the time I got out of the room, it's such a positive message, though, when it gets to the end. But the first of it, it's like, uh, Sarah, uh, Bob's wife, she she watched it. And she was like, I did not expect to be bawling by the end of it. My wife watched it. She was in tears by the end, in a good way. So I'm not saying don't go watch this music video because you're going to get sad. It's just, it's an honor kind of thing. And we're dedicating, the, the music video is dedicated to all fire EMTs and EMS across the world for the Maltese Cross. And what we got to do with this music video is nothing short of amazing. If you would have told me that we were going to do this in 23, that we were going to do this, I'd have laughed in your fucking face. I mean, like, yeah, right, sure. And it all stemmed from Texas Live. But it all really stemmed, if you guys really want to know, it all stemmed from Bob. Because that wasn't a song on my list to put on a record. Bob goes, we should put Reach on the record. And I was like, really? You want to do that one? 
And then he was like, yeah, I love that song. I was like, all right, fuck it. You know? And we, and we did. And then to hear it, cause there's like, as people are going to be searching, there is a video out there on YouTube of reach that was done when it was just Justin Ross and not Deadwood Revival. And it was a rock version of it. I still like that version. It's cool. It's a completely different version. It's cool, but it is not what Deadwood does. You know, like when Corey was trying to mimic the part of what Chris was doing on the guitar, he was trying to mimic it, but what he was doing on the violin created its own sound to carry through that tune. You know, what you're doing on the bass, Bob, what you're doing on the drums, AC, it's like it's a different sound, but it's still explosive and it's powerful. It's a song about hope. It's a song about taking people out of a dark place into the light and being there for them. And uh, we're going to premiere that September 29th at Texas Live. And that has opened the door for us in such a huge way that I never thought possible, man, with recalling it the honor those who reach for us uh show for september 29th and dedicated like i said to the maltese cross and we're holding a live auction that day we got auction items um september 29th 2024 it's a sunday so it starts at three o'clock it'll be done by six we're gonna play a live show that day uh it's free to get in there's no ticket sales um it's gonna be a huge deal contacting every fire station in the state of texas has been a challenge uh trying to get as many of these firefighters to know what's going on though that we're dedicating this to them all because of my great grandfather was the first fire chief of Haltom city so that was the whole point of going to the Haltom fire department to shoot the video and then it stemmed from that into let's do this thing for the lodd which i thought was crazy i was like what okay and then finding out from the city and everybody that wanted to get involved and how much they wanted to push that. And then now Coors Banquet wanting to be involved. And I mean, we're like 50% yes on that right now. 50, there's been like two, there's gotta be two check marks. One check marks already checked. If the other one gets checked. We're going on tour next year, which is at, there's another thing that's just absolutely fucking nuts to think there would be 25 weeks of touring in a row like <laughs> we would leave this, we would leave the second <laughs> i mapped it out we would leave the second week of may and we would come back the second week of october to go from thursday to sunday runs to do it just 25 weeks maybe it might just be friday saturday sunday friday saturday sunday friday because we might be making enough money to where it surprises that we don't have to do four shows it's just gonna no. be traveling in between no i but mean like i don't going... think it's gonna be like three hour runs I think it's going to be like, I'm looking at all these ECI locations and they're, they're not three hours from each other. Like, it's going to be like Dallas, Denver, Chicago, Los Angeles. Heck yeah. You know what I mean? Like we're bouncing all over the, all over the map. And so it's going to be like 10 hour drives in between 14 hour drives, stuff like that. That's, you know, going down the road. So it's going to be a lot of time on a bus. You know, I hope that we can get to Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You know, but dude, I gotta tell you, man, singing in this band is not like it used to be. Like singing in this band, I'm pushing hard, hard. That's why, like, when we play like "By You," I'm giving it about forty percent. I'm not going hard to the paint. Like, I'm even gonna stop doing like when we when I know we have like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If we have Friday, Saturday, like I'm, and we have to play the "By You" on Wednesday, I'm probably not even gonna sing the intro of the creep. Because it's just such a push. So oh, we remember. We acknowledge. We acknowledge as a team. We acknowledge. Yeah, well, it hurts. <laughs> I fucking hurts. bet. Why do you think we acknowledge? That's why, by, that's why like, by Saturday, I'm like, sleep. I'm trying to hit it, and I just can't. And it was like, there's nothing left. I, there was one show we did. I, I I want to say it was that show we did out at uh, Grandscape. We oh, were on a run. We were I do remember run that. that. I remember that. I remember that. And I, I just, I didn't have anything left in me. I, I was trying. I couldn't hit reach. I couldn't hit the creep. I couldn't. I was trying. Like my, my, my vocal was just like, no, <laughs> this is not going to happen today. <clears throat> so I don't know, man. 
but I do know that, uh, we got to get our asses in a rehearsal spot. Fish talk to uh, his boy down at platinum. So we have a room that we can get into down there possibly and, uh, use for the day. So we need to set aside a time to get in there. Uh, I guess we're not going to do a Halloween song like we were talking about. Cause it's way too late in the game for that. We should have been releasing that this month. Ah, I forgot all about that. Well, we need to do, I would like us to do the Christmas song, you know, let's get, let's get that out. Let's pick a song. If you guys don't want to do Oh Holy Night, let's pick a, let's something other than Oh Holy Night and fucking Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. Damn it. Let's pick let's something. Here. Let's see what the Die Hard soundtrack had I think it was on I'll, be, I'll Be Home for Christmas was a really bitching song. What about Oh Holy Tight? And it's about you, like, just releasing gas. Munching butt cheeks, Christmas. and we've come full circle. We're back around. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. What, trying to see what was on the sound, the Die Hard soundtrack. You know, greatest Christmas movie ever. Absolutely. I think if we if we if we took an actual look at it and tried it, I think if we dead would have find that Mariah Carey tune. Actually, wow, that was going through my head right now. Like if you actually stopped, like stopped right and <laughs> took Mariah Carey out of it and just took chord changes and the lyrics and did our thing to it. I actually think it would be really, really fucking dope. Kind of like I keep trying to talk you guys into doing Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. I know you hate them. No, no, no. But <laughs> no. I understand that y'all hate it. But I, I, I think a reimagining of that would be kind of mind blowing. Like I can hear it already. It's like, way better. When, when you Swift and AC start your cover band called Funky Buddha. Listen, you guys can do Taylor Swift, and you can go find a lead singer that shits himself and have him sing it all you want. Okay, we awesome. have one. No one necessary. I'm just saying, like the track bangs, dude. Like it's, it's, there, isn't a, there isn't a situation where that song doesn't do well, right? Like yeah. if you can't, if you can't, like go like this to that song, that's on you. Sorry, because I'm thinking about her other better songs. I agree. Oh, whoa. 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 Got a point. She's got better songs. Okay, yeah, but she doesn't have songs like Shake It Off that you play anywhere at any situation and you will have everyone it's like, tune in. There's that song, there's Happy by Pharrell Williams. Exactly. Uptown yeah. Funk that like doesn't matter. Dude, we could do Uptown right Funk. Side. I would be down to do Uptown Funk. I mean, do that. But you gotta instead of doing it on your bass, your electric bass, you gotta do it on the upright. Oh, that would be so dope. I could I, I could do it right now. I could go S- grab it. Settle and- down. <laughs> settle down. I don't want to hear your bass till Saturday. Hey, shake it off. Shake it off. All Man, three of those off, songs, dude. all three of those songs could be put into a medley. Don't say that. No, you're Dale. not. Dale. Dale bro. Shut up, fish. God. Stay out of this. He's right. Um, He's right. Cool I like how your phone went away from me. It was like, yo. <laughs> 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 Is it actually moving or is that your yeah, phone doing that? The iPad. No, no, it's the iPad. It does it. It moves with me. It's focusing. <laughs> hey, let's focus here. We got to get a Christmas song together. We'll figure that one out. We got to Christmas. Figure that because it's paid for. That's paid for. That's in the bucket. That's already done. Like we, the Halloween one, we're just gonna put towards the fucking record. But that's the other thing. We got to get get in the rehearsal space. We got some things to work on, but we got to start working on some of these new tunes, man. Uh, the meeting with Zach Malloy this week went really good. Um, I'm going to so pitch a Christmas song. I'm kind of waiting back to see what he uh, when he <coughs> wants to do that, but that'll be that'll be interesting. He wants to do like three or four days of of writing and with different like not just him, but like with different artists up there writing across the board and just see you know what we come up with lyrically melody like you know melody lot melody wise kind of deal and then come yeah. back here and let's deadwoodify it and, and see what comes out it's cover sister we 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 do that sometimes it's pretty rare we do yeah yeah, yeah. i like doing um, that in the garth brooks tune but I, yeah. always, I always liked his when he did his solo record he did, he had a song that was like it was an early morning phone call December. if you've ever heard that it's a it's a fucking great. It's right up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What what if we did Last Christmas by Wham? Oh, dude, you've been buffering this whole time. 
No, I said I have a pit <laughs> like one to throw. I raised my hand and everything. <laughs> miles past Christmas. Man. But before we get to Christmas, it's Halloween. It's September, but I don't give a fuck. The worst Party holiday of all time. Play. I mean, I got fucking Gerald over there in the corner. See him over there? Oh, it was Daryl. Absolute terrible holiday. Hey, where's Zed? In the living room. Living. On display. He's living. Tristan, what did you say? Don't worry about it. It's all good. He Don't said it's it. the absolute Halloween. worst holiday ever. What Halloween is? See, that's, that's why you ain't got no friends, man. Yeah. No, I don't have any friends because I can't deal with people. <laughs> That's my reasoning. The poor yeah, people can't deal with over you. in the corner right now crying. Choose to hate something that's universally loved. Like well, how people can't awesome. deal with you. That's what it is. That's fine, bro. I bet you I'm okay it. with who I am. I bet you I'm comfortable. Too. I'm comfortable. not comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not comfortable when I'm around you. That's not what I meant. That's what he's saying. I've got a wedgie. <laughs> Jesus. What? <laughs> what? Oh. So if you made it this far into the podcast, thank you guys oh. for watching this. This is Blood in the Water episode three. It's over. Go back and check out episode two and one. Uh, also, check us out at justinrossmusic.com or you can go to deadwoodfan.com backslash our info. And there you can find all the links to everything from our merch, our website, our sponsor, our booking, all of that good stuff. Make sure you go and check that out. Is this light behind me blinking? I keep thinking this. No, it, it, it the lights they flash and like what they measure hurts. So you got to change your light to match your camera, or change your camera to match to outmatch the hertz of the light flickering. See how come when he pops up <laughs> like that. Nobody says anything, but I tell you guys that where a cord of wood comes from, and I'm an asshole. Like because oh. you because you look like this when you do it. Hey guys on Google, uh, this is what it says. <laughs> <laughs> so true, so true. That's where you're just like, well, yeah, he, 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 what he, that news is right here. Google says it must be real. Fuck. Yeah, he he popped out that. Is that what I sound like, you douche nozzle. Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yo, y'all are so uh, Oh yeah. Hey, hey, listen, the Zoom podcast was your idea because you fucks are too lazy to get in a room and do it. So at least I can pop this all down to one audio and bounce. Whoa, it. whoa, whoa. I was just now invited to this shit. <laughs> so I don't want to hear you fuck. First, first hey, night. I saw the invitation with mid after midnight. Oh, yeah, trust me, sleeping. we know you saw it because no, you decided to screenshot it. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, and then, you, it to us. then Tristan, shut the fuck up. Three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning, bro. Tristan no. really is getting fucking hammered. I'm like, we're they sleeping. were, bro. It was at 3 a.m. That shit hit. Listen, cool. we're all sleeping. There's three other dudes in this band that have fucking jobs I got to get up in the morning. I run two businesses. What you I don't mean? Care I got to be business. Up. You don't have to go. Yes, well, I do. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool that you run your own businesses, but that doesn't mean that we run our own businesses. We can't set our own times. Seriously. Whoa. whoa. Yeah. Just because I have a problem sleeping and I no, just sit to random. This is the transparency coming out here, hey, folks. This if, is what if we y'all do. need to call me, just call me. I don't care. I'm not gonna bitch. I'm not an asshole. Corey woke up this morning and chose war by like what <laughs> texting my group chat. <laughs> He was he was going after me for whatever fucking reason. I was early on in the night. I'm asking about the podcast, and then he decides to attack me at nine o'clock in the morning. Fucking Justin, wake up! Blah, 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 blah. I didn't see that. T- t- you know why? Because I turned my phone off. And so at this time, like I'm I'm in a, what they call a sectional. So I've got I've got like seven yep. or eight uh, young bassists that I'm teaching the entire group of, and then my phone just starts going off. Was it in rhythm, hey, Rob? Because hey, we Bob, know you, was it in note, rhythm? Bob, on that note, you should teach your students to turn off their phones when they're in class. Oh, they do. It was my, my God. I was using mine as a metronome. He's <laughs> he's looking down, going Jesus airplane Christ. mode, airplane mode. So because or, or just, oh, I got to turn myself completely off, dude. What if somebody oh, oh. needs something? Needs something? Just mute. Just mute our conversation until yeah, noon. I set a timer on it till noon. And I check it, and if I get up in the morning, I'll check and see if you guys are talking. But I meet our conversation until noon because I know how Corey is. I ain't gonna lie, 
I joined that group chat and then Corey started popping off, I immediately muted that and I have I just check it. I it, I've never gotten a notification for that group chat at all. Like I muted that thing day one. Fish has got it. Fish, are we comparing skulls right now? No, I've got many. I got one. Oh. I got one that'll in- incriminate me. <laughs> Let's see if I can find. My, I'll, I'll show you my first one. Okay, Dahmer, go ahead. Show me your first skull you collected. Yeah, don't worry. <clears throat> no. Here we go. Here's here's Corey. Corey, you have Hold to be up. sweating <laughs> in that hat this whole time, bro. You have up to be sweating. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm-mm. And I have it muted. <laughs> and somehow you still found it. That's because amazing. It's vibrating. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> Whoa. First one I ever got from Mexico. There we go. That almost looks like the Mexican wrestling mask I have. Jamez? Are you going to be a part of AC's show? No. No. The Fiddler. <laughs> 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 Bro, we need to talk about this. Hold I, on. What are the have greatest moments? I'm putting on October 13th. Yes. All right. And last but not least, man, if you guys haven't checked this out, you guys need to check this out. Um, yeah. This is called The Ark, and it was written by our boy Aaron Capers. So if you're a drummer out there and you're wanting to learn how to drum, this is chapter one, volume one of drumming. Man, yep. he gives away a lot of secrets in here. It's a lot of there's a lot of great things in this man. So make sure that you check this out. Do- man, I tell you, you don't even have to be a drummer to get that book, man. It's really good about conversating and uh right there, man. Be, be, be. The man. The myth. <clears throat> the legend. The legend. Aaron Caper. You can get it uh on our merch booth at our shows, or you can order it straight from Amazon. Where? Amazon. 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 Nice. So you can go on Amazon. Check that out. It's called The Ark by Aaron Capers. Make sure you check that out. Uh, I would talk about Tristan's music, but it sucks. So don't go. Dude, I knew you were going to do that. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it was. I was hoping I could cut him off. I was really hoping I could cut him off. Damn, that has me going somewhere else. But I have a drum set book that I'm putting out, too. Oh, bitch. Uh, Nice. It's it's in the works right now. That'll be the, the, the last book that I... I did on my Amazon deal. Also, so, on I'm YouTube, learn to play you can drum. go to uh, YouTube. Um, this is really aimed at Tristan. So you type in how to play guitar, and then it teaches you right there on YouTube how to <laughs> oh my God, so play dude. an instrument in this world instead of using Splice Holy or all of the music. shit. Hey, bro, at least I can make house recordings sound good. Hey, yeah. hey, if I learn how to play the drum kit, could I play on one song? No. I'll take a break. <laughs> Just one. I'm in for that. That this... no, you don't. You don't get to jump in line in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> but here's that. But you can learn to play the guitar, though. Nope. Don't get to jump in line of me on that either. So I play guitar. Yeah. Yeah, I always think it's funny. No, you know, what you do, player, but you don't play guitar on stage. You just bring your Martin everywhere you go. Yeah, what you do is you collect really cool guitars and then you go trade them in and don't get the amount that hey. you should for it. Hey. And then you trade it in for a Martin. That's because I don't want to hold on to it like a greedy person w- waiting for that price while I'm aging, staring at the Martin that I really want. But you know what? I'm happy. Screw that Gibson. Did you say a farting? Wow. Martin. Well, there goes the guesses, sponsorship boys. Sorry about it. All right, let's stop boring these people. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into the podcast. This is an episode of Blood in the Water, episode three. Check it out on YouTube. Please smash that subscribe button. Hit no. I'm going to mute Corey right here. There we go. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. <laughs> <laughs> So that you guys can be notified when we put up the next podcast. I think that we should start doing these on the Wednesdays that we're not playing the Bayou. So if we're we do them every other Wednesday or whatever, we're gonna try and set a schedule and get more of these out to you, man. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for everything. Peace.